I'd like to show you how you can quickly and accurately measure the most important EMFs that you'll encounter. So I'm in my home office and I'm going to start with radio frequency. Now for this I use the Safe and Sound Pro 2, which is the most accurate consumer RF meter that we have available to us. And I go by the peak number on the top and the sound. So you can hear that high pitch. And that's just a local cell tower. And because I have all the wireless turned off in my home, the cell tower is really the only thing that this meter picks up. So an ideal reading is going to be below 100 microwatts per meter squared uh, during the day. And for sleep, many people want it below 10 or even 1 microwatt per meter squared. And the way that you'll do this is either with a bed canopy or shielding paint. Now as I move over to magnetic and electric fields, I like to use the new EM3. And this is a very accurate low frequency meter. So I'm measuring the 3D magnetic field now. You can see that I'm around 0.1 milligauss. And this is really an ideal reading. Uh, if it's ab above 0.2 milligauss, then that, that starts to mean that you have either a wiring error in your home, which can be easily fixed, or that the local electrical grid is creating a magnetic field. And this is, is much more difficult to fix, if not impossible. So now I'll toggle over to electric fields. And you can see that I'm around 0 0.1, 0 0.2 volts per meter, which is also a really ideal reading. Now the reason it's so low, even though I'm connected with Ethernet there, is because the circuit breakers to this part of the house are turned off. And I usually work like that, and I like to sleep like that. So that makes it so that the electric fields are very low where I both work and sleep. And you can do that with some type of a remote switch while you, uh, while you sleep. Or if you're building a new house, you use shielded wiring so that the electric fields are very low. Now, the last thing I like to measure is EMI or electromagnetic interference. This is also called dirty electricity. And the plug-in meters measure this, but I actually like to use the AM radio more because it shows you what's radiating out into the environment. So things like uh, solar inverters and pumps and motors and dimmer switches and HVAC systems can create a lot of EMI. And the AM radio will tell you if it's, if it's a problem. So I'm going to just going to go through the AM dial and you're going to hear just a nice white noise in the radio stations. And this shows that this is really a really clean environment. So you just hear the white noise in the radio station. And then just white noise again. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how to use your meters. And it gives you an idea of what really healthy low EMF readings are. And uh, hopefully this will help you to have a much healthier home.